guys, it's Mino, welcome back. Today we're gonna do another pretzel pour that I've been kind of playing with and having fun and sort of figuring out myself. So it's not perfect yet, but it's a lot of fun to do. So let me show you my colors real fast and then we'll get right to it. I have a dark navy blue that I have mixed up, which is Arteza Thalo Blue mixed with some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I have Golden's Prussian Blue which I absolutely love this color. It's fantastic. And to this, I have added some iridescent medium just to give it some sparkle. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, this one is Quinacridone Crimson from Golden's. Beautiful color. I have uh, almost two cups of this, just in case we need more paint. I have my Decorate Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I also have Golden's Iridescent gold bright and then this one is sort of weird this one started out as deco arts rich espresso and then i also had a bottle of fire opal sitting there so i poured some of that in the rich espresso i kind of like it so that's pretty cool so that's rich espresso mixed with fire opal and then i had some white artist loft flow acrylic white and satin enamel white and i added a little bit of this darker bronzy color to this to make it not so white to have it more be like a cream color so let's go ahead and layer our cup um, contrast is the biggest thing with the colors that I'm looking for so I'm gonna start with some Prussian blue and I'm going to put some of the deco art 24 karat in there then I'm gonna go with some of my quinacridone crimson and I'm gonna put the bronze in between we're going to go with our navyish color. And we're going to go with some of the golden iridescent gold. And then I'm going to put more Prussian blue in there. And a nice chunk of the quinacridone. I'm not I haven't used that white color in the pour in my test pieces, so I'm sort of shying away from it. I'm just going to use that as like a background flow extender if we need one. I may also do two cups of this because looking at the video from the other day I realized if I had had more paint on the canvas it would have slid around a lot easier so that might happen. <laughs> okay let's start with that. Um, Okay, I'm trying to think, do I want to do a base coat on there? That's the goldens. Put this down on our corners. Our magic little gold cell maker. Seriously? Wow, the sky looks so pretty. Okay, so we're going to do the first pretzel pour. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of going to go across this way. And I have a feeling this cup is going to end up till about here, and then I'm going to fill it up and do the rest of the way. So, here we go. Let that do its thing for a minute, and then I'm going to fill up the rest of this cup. And then it's up there. Alright. Kind of. You know, I'm going to. Should I turn it around? In. Okay, 
So I'm going to start over here. Okay. Ready? That's kind of neat. Okay. So now I have more paint on there this time than I did last time, which is good. And I am going to come in. So I think I'm going to go around it with the Quinacridone Crimson ones. Okay, and now I'm going to put that bronzy color around that just to really give it something to slide on and move easy and keep our composition. Okay, I'll move these out of the way. All right, goal don't get any on my sweater. Okay, <laughs> all right, so the weight of the paint. Go this way a little bit and come back and go the other direction and kind of head off to that corner. Okay. So I'm going to go down that way, just sort of walk it. So it moves evenly. We kept some of those stripes. That's really neat. Okay, we're gonna go. There's just a tiny bit left on there. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we did get a little bit of the pretzel effect that I wanted. Um, not quite as much and not across the center of the canvas like I wanted. You see it a little bit over here and you see it a little bit in here. I think what's stopping me is I like this and I don't want to tilt that off because normally if I didn't like that and I didn't care about tilting it off, I would stretch the heck out of that. But I do like it, and I love this. These little cells popping up through the center of that. So, okay, I'm gonna stop because if I keep messing with it, it's not gonna get any better. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty awesome. I will take my camera down and bring it in for some close-ups, and then I will show you when it's dry. See you in a bit. Okay, so this is from my point of view. Look how cool these cells are. That's awesome. So pretty. That quinacridone crimson is beautiful. So you can see here where it's mixed with the either the darker blue, the navy, or the Prussian blue. I just I really like this separation of all the colors with the distinct stripes. See, this is that that's the Payne's grayish color with the gold. Makes that sort of like weird greenish. <laughs> I know I may be crazy, it's okay. But this part's really, really neat in here. 
that was the very end of the cup. Oh, I'm just kind of going back and forth. Let me see if I can get closer. That's pretty cool. Can you see it? <laughs> There's shadows and lines and things. But this is really neat in here. That's beautiful. And this edge. I think this is the first pour. More of the first pour. Look at those cool gold cells. Really, really pretty. I just, I really like that separation. So we didn't get that whole layered challah bread pretzel sort of basket pattern. <laughs> But we did get some really cool patterns. Like, I really like this part a lot. This part is crazy beautiful. That's cool. And I love these cells and these lines. That's awesome. Okay, so that had a better result than my last go. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, so I will show you when it's dry. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, so this is like four days later and it's still wet. It's finally just dry enough to stand it up though. <laughs> it's been very cold and raining here, so nothing is drying quickly. But this turned out so cool. Look at how beautiful those lines are. I love that. And a little cells popping up. I should put my glasses on. I can see if it's actually in focus. Yay! <laughs> how many pairs of cheaters do you guys have hanging around your house? <laughs> Pretty, this line right down here. I love that. And then, of course, this section right there with those little cells. That's so cute. I love it. And apparently, something made a journey and signed my painting with a C. I don't know exactly what that was, but kind of interesting. <laughs> but this is really, really pretty down here. I love that. Very bold colors. I love that quinacridone magenta. Really pretty. And of course the Prussian blue is amazing. And there's our dark navies playing in here. You see where the navy actually blended with the red and gave us that darker purpley color. And that was the end of the cup. So this one was a little different, but I love these lines in here. It's so pretty. Gold is sparkling. Very neat. There is no sun today. Sorry. <laughs> you can have a video, but it won't have sun in it. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the the end result of our blue and red pretzel pour. Very very cool. I like it a lot. Definitely gonna play with this tomorrow. I really like these lines in here. Just like where you just see that little bit of gold snapping through. But see, this is the cool. So it's not the fact that it's not shaped like a pretzel. That's not what this is all about. It's all about getting these very distinct lines and then being able to stretch them out and seeing some of that overlap. So you can see where it's not dry yet. <laughs> I really like this though. I really like this technique and I think you guys are digging on it too. I love seeing your, your pores when you guys tag me if you can. I love seeing it. It's awesome. So anyway, this one was really cool. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you give this a go because it's fun. It is cool. It's not so much about doing the pretzel shape. It's more overlapping lines and then stretching them out. So try to get a good shot for you. There you go. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you for the next one. Um, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook, or you can check out my Etsy shop, or there's a link in the description box for a PayPal if you would like to be a patron of the arts. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, you guys, and hanging out with me and being part of my journey while I figure stuff out and play with things and come up with new stuff. It's a lot of fun. I appreciate you all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Rolling, rolling. Should I start rolling sound? Okay. Well, I can hear him. Uh, he's okay. There's nobody scary.
Her fans miss you. Mm.